Hello. In this video, we're going to look at how we can represent number bonds to and including 20. In our previous video, representing the number bonds to 10, we used a coat hanger and close pegs to demonstrate that addition calculations can be done in any order, such as in this example where 3 add 2 equals 5 and 2 add 3 equals 5. So, when adding numbers, the calculation can be done in any order. However, it's sometimes easier to start a calculation with the bigger number and then add or count on the smaller number as we will demonstrate in this video. So let's jump right in. We are going to start by demonstrating how we can make the numbers from 11 to 20 using a bead string like this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Now let's take a closer look. We can show 11 on our bead string like this. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Here we have 10 red beads and 1 yellow bead. We can write this as a calculation like this. 10 add 1 equals 11. 11 beads all together. We can show 12 on our bead string like this. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. We have 10 red beads and 2 yellow beads and we can write it as a calculation like this. 10 add 2 equals 12. 12 beads all together. And again, we can show 13 on our bead string like this. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. We have 10 red beads and 3 yellow beads. And we can write it as a calculation like this. 10 add 3 equals 13 beads altogether. If we show 14 on our bead string, how can we write this as a calculation? Well, we have 10 red beads and 4 yellow beads, which equals 14 beads altogether. And again, if we show 15 on our bead string, how can we write this as a calculation? We still have 10 red beads, plus we have 5 yellow beads, which equals 15 beads altogether. In the same way, we can write calculations for the remaining teen numbers. However, as we have shown, when making our teen numbers on our bead string, each calculation begins with 10 red beads. So, 
Rather than counting every bead each time we make a team's number, instead we can start to count on from 10, just like this. So if we show 16 on a bead string, we start with 10 red beads and add 6 yellow beads. To show 16 beads all together. And if we show 17 on our bead string, we start with 10 red beads and add 7 yellow beads. To show 17 beads all together. If we show 18 beads on our bead string, how can we write it as a calculation? Well, we started with 10 red beads and added 8 yellow beads, which equals 18 beads all together. So how will we show 19 on our bead string? And how can we write it as a calculation? Again, we start with 10 red beads and add 9 yellow beads, which equals 19 beads altogether. And how will we show 20 on our bead string? And how can we write this as a calculation? Again, we start with 10 red beads and add 10 yellow beads, which equals 20 beads all together. And finally, a quick quiz to check your understanding of representing number bonds within 20. How quickly can you call out the missing numbers in each of our calculations? Get ready! Let's go! Ten add five equals fifteen. Add 3 equals 13. 10 add 8 equals 18. 10 add 4 equals 14. 10 add 1 equals 11. 10 add 7 equals 17. 10 add 9 equals 19. 10 add 6 equals 16. 10 add 2 equals 12. 10 add 10 equals 20. 
How well did you do? Remember, you can keep practicing if you need to until you're confident at recalling all of your number bonds. And remember, it's also a good idea now and again to go back and check you can remember past number skills too. But that's it from us for today. Bye for now.